lymphatic system objective to learn the structure and functions of the human lymphatic system within your body there is a system that functions largely as a drainage network helping to keep fluids balanced while also helping to fight against infections this network the lymphatic system works with the circulatory system within the lymphatic system blood enters the tissues through capillaries at the cellular level blood pressure causes fluid to pass through the thin capillary vessel walls to become tissue fluid tissue fluid differs from the blood plasma in that it contains white blood cells also known as leukocytes most of this tissue fluid returns to the capillary vessels through venules however a small amount will not return to the blood capillary system this part is a clear fluid containing white blood cells and is known as lymph it will enter the lymph capillaries which begin as blind ended tubes that are no more than a single cell in thickness in addition to carrying lymph the lymphatic system has additional functions in the small intestine lymphatic vessels known as lacteals absorb fatty acids and transport fat into the circulatory system it produces immune responses through the production of lymphocytes and monocytes lymphatic capillaries unite to form collecting vessels which move along the arteries and veins before emptying lymph into one of the many lymph nodes found in the body these nodes are small bean shaped enlargements found at various points including your neck armpits groin and the walls of the intestines There are about 600 to 700 lymph nodes in the human body. These nodes produce lymphocytes, which are similar to white blood cells. When microorganisms become trapped in the lymph nodes, the glands will swell. Summary: The lymphatic system assists in the circulating of body fluids and helps defend the body against disease-causing agents.